it. He looked at it. He was like, wait, is he going to do it? I was like, I have to. <laughs> no, this is why he said to me, Timmy, have you got your debit card in you? Because <laughs> it revs out. He's <laughs> just waiting for me. Let me just speed it up just for you. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and in this video you can see I'm down here at A&R Cars Limited and they've kindly lent me their lovely BMW E90 M3. So yes guys, it's the E90 edition which means that it's the one with the V8 4 litre engine. So it's naturally aspirated, no turbos, no lag and it sounds absolutely amazing. And obviously where it's the E90 which means it's the 5 door version, E92 meaning that it's the coupe version. You can see here it is looking absolutely amazing. I love these wheels. I actually love these wheels. I am tempted to kind of get them on my car on the M140, but I don't know how the hate's going to happen, but I'm not really bothered. I don't really care about the hate, but yeah, 19 inches, sitting on 19 inch rims, which absolutely just fill the arches perfectly. You can see it's got the old style M performance mirror. It's got the nice angel eyes. So I believe these are yellow, but you can change them to like a nice bright white. And obviously you can see here, we've got the quad tips as well. So we're definitely, definitely going to be appreciating that. Moving forward, into the main area. So welcome to the main living room. So a nice little carbon dash here. Obviously not real carbon, but it does have a nice feel to it. You can see also it's the DCT, so it's not the manual. So it's a, this was an added extra. And on top of that, you can see we've got the nice free controls down here, which are power, EDC and DSC off. We're gonna run it in MDM mode anyway, cause it's not my car. I don't really wanna slide it around <coughs> on camera. Um, EDC, we've got the dampers, so electronic dampers. We'll probably leave that in the firmer setting. Power button, I'm not gonna use that cause obviously that's the uh, throttle and I prefer having a smoother throttle than kind of a more aggressive one. And we've also got the option to change the shift. But yeah guys, that's enough talking. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so we are in this absolutely beast of a machine. And and I'm smiling because I left M mode on when I first left the dealership and it was a bit surprising bearing in mind it's not gonna shift for me I'm also gonna wait for the engine to get up to temperature before I go flooring it so for those of you that are looking forward to me just flooring it I'm not gonna do that because that's, that's damaging to the engine but guys so far this thing feels solid and you definitely know you're driving something that's got like a bit of a thing that I can't really explain but the steering and this is like in the most comfortable setting Jeez, this postman really loves to park here huh? you love to park here my friend some of you might say oh yeah why not get the manual but for me as like I said personally I'm a strong fan of the flappy paddles I love the flappy paddles and it just makes me feel like more like a Formula One driver as opposed to taking your hand off the wheel and all of that but yeah this this feels amazing and obviously just cruising around here because obviously we're not on any B roads as of yet it feels solid when I say solid it just is there's no it's not wobbling and that's when you know you're driving a true M car obviously we're gonna really test it when we push it more but first impressions on the first mile or so is that it it just oh mate it just feels solid and to be honest with you the, the edc whatever it is it's in comfort mode so it's not even in its strongest firmest but it feels very planted so we're getting up to temperature now but again we're still going to take our time with it and obviously where we are it's not really any point but for me in terms of just looking at the car like if you walk past this car you'd straight away turn your head and look at you like yep solid car M3, it's got the badge obviously, but for me, the real game changer for me is the bonnet. And the bonnet's not just fake, so a lot of people just be like, oh yeah, what's with the fake freaking scoop or noop or whatever you want to call it on the bonnet, but it's there for a reason. Because if you look at the engine, the engine actually got a shape to it where it kind of needs that scoop on the bonnet. If it didn't have that, it wouldn't close. So that scoop is really useful. And in terms of the vents as well, I did check, so I was a bit worried about ah, vents. I hate fake vents. But looking at the vents, they actually work. Because you can see one of them, I'm not sure about the other one, too sure. But the other one definitely, definitely feeds cold air into the engine, which is great. And as you can see here, national speed limit is now here. So we're going to flip the M button and immediately that's put me into in six gear. So now it's gonna go, wow, instantaneous downshift. Oh my 
days, guys. Did you hear that shift down? It sounded like, listen to this, I'm third. Oh my days, the downshift. So I've got to do that again. Cruising here, there's no turbo, so it, there's no build up, it just, just goes. But listen to the downshift again. So we're not going to go full out, obviously, like I said, out of respect, but I'm definitely, definitely going to give it a proper, proper drive. On, uh, on my, I've got a little M Lights uh, group chat that I'm a part of, and we, I asked a question the day before I actually reviewed this car, and I said, "So, like, what makes it an M car?" Now I can tell because out of the box, this car is stock. Bear in mind, everything is stock, but literally putting it in MDM mode, suspension firmed up, and everything like that, this car feels so safe. And I think that's what makes a real M car. All of that power, and it's just safe. It does. It doesn't give you any sort of squeaky bum time. It's just straight away. You're like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I can put the power down. Like through that bend there on mine, I'd be a bit more wobbly because obviously it's not an M car. It's an M140, but it's not a true M car. But I, w I had a lot of confidence. Thank you, sir. Waves me through. Thank you, Moses. I just said, please proceed. Come with me if you want to leave. And it definitely turns head. People, people are looking at it, thinking, boy. Boy, another, oh guys, I think I should just forget the review and just, just drive the car, because. Wow. Oh my days, the, that, that V8, wow. And like I said, <laughs> and like I said, you can't have this sharp throttle on this car, because you need to be able to feather it and just squeeze the throttle. Just Squeeze it, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Obviously, they're not the exact best roads for me to floor this power down, and I'm gonna have to stop for fuel because I can tell it's gonna be a it's gonna be a very thirsty day. And this DCT, the the, the shifts are solid. They're, I'm obviously I haven't driven a Porsche yet to say that they're better than the PDK box, but. With the fact that you can change the ferocity of the gear shifts, it's perfect. But for me, I wouldn't have the gear shifts on a high setting because halfway through a bend, I'm not saying you're going to shift through a bend, but if you do decide to shift, that instant kick could be the one that throws you off. So in terms of the interior, obviously with it being a BMW and obviously not one of the newer, new, new shapes, it is very dated. I'm not going to lie to you, but this is what you get with BMW. Like my car, which is 2018 version of the BMW, like engines or cars whatever looks exactly the same we've got these numbers along here you've got your your your, your what's it called the iDrive display over here clusters very similar BMW don't really kind of break anything up when they kind of do their interiors it's the same thing throughout the whole range obviously like I said the F80 M3 has got slightly a newer style but for me everything's the same but that's not an issue for me because that's not an issue at all it's not you're not buying this car because of the interior but the interior does it does kind of play a little role in terms of what you can do but you can retrofit loads of things not that you would don't shoot me down not that you would but the interior for me is okay it's okay it's not amazing but it's okay and where this one's got every single spec possible heated seats you've got the lovely wheel the dampers it's a no-brainer guys it's an absolute no-brainer as to why you wouldn't want to jump in one of these well like i said i'm taking it a bit easy because we are running a bit low on fuel but at the same time national speed limit has applied so let's just see foot there kick down okay so kick down kick down is okay it's nothing very scary because again that's just in its in its stock mode but now we go MDM mode manual only take it down to two wow wow it revs it revs out it revs out this 
that's why I know. This is why he said to me, Timmy, have you got your debit card in you? Because <laughs> it revs out. Days. And, and with this you've got the shift lights so I will take a, a little image of it after guys but the shift lights are a nice added little feature 100% 100% oh you just want to downshift all the time and like I said guys oh it's so balanced it's if I could get the M140 to handle like this, I'd be buzzing. And obviously that's a big statement. I'm not trying to cause any controversy. Because obviously I know it's not an M car, calm down. But at the same time, guys, this feels so good. There's an M140 ahead actually. Oh, three door as well. Look, stop. Stop Steve. Man like Rick. No I'm joking. <laughs> Rick, Rick's car is stock, guys. If everyone wonders why I say Rick, because Rick is running about 720 brake horsepower on his M140i, but he says it's stock. But we all know it's not stock. It's running about 720i. Pure Turbo has made him a actual, like, specified turbo as well. So he's running, like, not a pure 800, he's running a pure 1200. So guys, make sure you check him out. <laughs> so in terms of its strengths, where does it really, really excel? For me, it's that. It's that, it's the engine, with the, with the suspension. So this car is fine tuned to be out of the box, something that you can enjoy. You don't have to go toying around with springs or dampers or anti-roll bars, roll bars, anti-roll bars, arbs. Guys, this car is out of the box, ready. It's ready and for someone like me who just enjoys cars, loves and appreciates everything, this is right up there. This is, and it takes a lot for me to say that. Bearing in mind, I've been out in some nice cars. This is up there with them. And what makes it even better is the fact that it's one of a kind. So looking at Auto Trader last night, there was only about 100 of these out. E90 shapes, E92 shapes, about 100. So you are driving something that's quite rare, not rare in terms of how many they made, but rare as in these don't go up for sale very often. 100 is out of a population of how many is, is a small number. One thing I will fault with it is You've guessed it, fuel efficiency. <laughs> so don't slate me now, don't punch me now. Keyboard Warriors have got into the cupboard now. They're gonna go and get out that special Amazon. I know Carlos, I know Carlos got it. He's gonna get out that special uh, keyboard with like the lights on it. You've got like blue, purple, and he's gonna get it in the comments. Oh, how can you talk about fuel efficiency? People, it still matters. It still matters to a degree. And, and I'm saying this car is something that is thirsty. You're gonna buy this car, and always oh, just waiting for me. Let me just speed it up, just for you. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, fuel efficiency isn't great. Like, literally, I picked it up with a quarter of a tank, and obviously, it's just gone down to I'd say what's half of a quarter. <laughs> I'm tired. Loved it. He looked at it. He was like, "Wait, is he gonna do it?" I was like, "I have to." <laughs> Old tight Ashley. Wow, it just wants to rev out, and I'm, I keep, I keep short ship. <laughs> my lady spat out <laughs> my breakfast. I keep short shifting, and I keep forgetting this thing has a diff, so I can literally come on the power so much earlier. It can come on the power so much earlier. And it just pushes me through. Thank <laughs> you. 
thing I was surprised that it does very, very well is that M button is so useful. That some people say, oh yeah, it gives you more power. No, what it does, it just gives you another car. So right now, I'm driving, I don't know, name me a soft, a soft name. I'm driving Winston Harrison's car. So right now, we're just driving Winston's car, as we do, nice and smoothly. And it goes from, from being, look at that, quiet, upshifts around, what, two and a half K. Two and a half K upshifts, which is spot on. Nice and efficient. Get yeah, about, I don't know, 25, 30 to the gallon if you're lucky. But again, it's not about fuel in this car. But then as soon as you get that opportunity, and you press the M button, already I can feel the steering wheel's the same since it's in comfort, but the, my, my, my booty, <laughs> the rear of the car, has immediately firmed up. Immediately. It more, feels more direct, which means on these turns here, I ain't got to worry about anything at all. It definitely is a game. There's a lot of wheel marks here. Somebody's been putting the power down, huh? Someone's been having fun, huh? <laughs> oh, a little bit of squirm there. Again, MDM mode all the way. I was tempted to do DSC off, maybe off camera. No, I'm joking, I'm gonna do it. So if I ask myself the big boy question, which is would I buy one of these? The answer for me, something that I would just a weekend car I'd happily get this maybe I might get the 92 which is the two-door version the coupe version but there's nothing wrong with this at all whatsoever so guys if you are interested in this car make sure you hit up a and cars limited I'll leave all the information below and obviously over screen but yeah guys that is the video you have been absolutely amazing thanks for making it to the end of the video if you have please like subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification button so you'll be notified whenever a new video goes live and i'll see you in the next one god bless